A new episode of 60 Minutes Plus takes us inside a hot new craze for digital art and other collectibles, and you're going to want to talk about it. The U.S. artist known as Beeple made history this year when he sold his purely digital artwork for more than $69 million. The piece, called Every Days, the first 5,000 days, was sold as an NFT. That is a unique computer code that provides a digital certificate of authenticity. 60 Minutes Plus correspondent Lori Siegel spoke to the hip-hop artist Flo Rida, who created his own NFT, about his hopes to cash in, let's call it a trend, on this trend. How much do you think people are going to pay for your, your NFT? How much are you hoping for? Billions on top of billions. Billions? <laughs> I mean, you never know. I mean, I have fans that love me across the world. This new advance isn't just for world-famous rappers. It's a technology that could be used to turn anything and anyone into an NFT up for auction, including me. Action. I'm Lori Siegel, and I'm about to be turned into a 3D avatar. That's you basically flattened out. That's crazy. And then this would be the wireframe, so this is, obviously, what happens they wrap this around you. Wow, so, so and that's how it works. You are basically, uh, a series of triangles, and as you can see, your face is really a number of triangles. So that's where the, the full details at. We wondered, just because we can make an NFT of anyone or anything, will anybody actually want it? I say this uh, in a humbling way. Why would someone want to purchase my NFT? I mean, what is the value? Just explain it to me. Well, think of NFTs again as memorabilia. You are now enabling everyone to create moments and the market will determine what those moments are valued at. Perhaps you can create a JPEG of yourself in the middle of one of the best interviews that made history and that, that NFT will have a value. Somebody might be interested. Weeks later, my 3D avatar now lives in a virtual space. I'm Lori Siegel and I'm about to be turned into a 3D avatar and then I'm gonna be turned into an NFT. Welcome to the future of the internet. Uh, Lori Siegel, who is also the founder of Dot 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 Media, joins us now. Uh, Lori, uh, the Pulitzer Prize winning art critic Jerry Saltz of New York Magazine called the whole NFT craze, and this is a technical art term, uh, crapola. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, Ooh. And, and this is what's so I confusing. I still don't get it, too, Johnny. This is what's so confusing no. about it. It's mm -hmm. digital art. So you can make infinite copies of it, and it all looks the same, but only one person is the, quote, owner with the NFT. Right. Why are people paying so much money for this stuff? Sure. But, and let me just say, remember, when Banksy came around, a lot of people just thought the graffiti was vandalism. Now yes. people pay millions for it. So but It's a physical thing. But, you, but yeah. that is not in, in defense of anything. I just, right. I just to <laughs> explain it. Um, you know, look, it's this idea that we own things, we value things in the physical world, right? Yes. But in the future, we'll spend more time in digital worlds. Our children are already doing this. If you have kids and they're on yeah. Roblox and Fortnite, yeah. we're now going to value things in the digital world. And this is a way that you can do that, right? Jack Dorsey selling his tweet, right. his first tweet. That's, I remember this. It says, I'm setting up my Twitter for um, $3 million. It's kind of this digital authenticity. So, like, the, the deed to it, if you think about this. But everybody we, has access to it in the digital world. That's you can why I'm see confused. It. I mean, well, yeah. Yeah. So it's essentially like bragging rights of okay. some sort. Right. Well, you, I mean, when you were asking the question about what is it, I saw a certain <laughs> quality of desperation and confusion, which I, is what I feel. Sure. Do, do, you, do, you, do you see the value? Yeah, look, like I... You see that. I love that you picked that up. I've covered technology for over a decade, and yeah. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. Mm -hmm. but, Thank you. That makes me feel better. So you're not alone. But I will say, I think there's a lot of value here, and I think it's super interesting. And I think it's interesting if you look at it in the context of what's coming next in the Internet.